Welcome back to AC Auto Carts. Today, we're working on our new to us 2018 SeaDoo GTI SE. I recently purchased this from a friend. It is absolutely like new, with one exception. The taillight bulb doesn't have a brake light in it. So I went to look for a bulb. I thought maybe it would only be the bulb. These are sealed units, so you gotta buy a new unit. And I said, well, let me go ahead and get some uh, LED ones, and then I'll never have to think about it again. So that's what we're gonna do today change these to LEDs and um, we'll do a little quick walk around and I'll show you a little problem that I came up with just in trying to get them apart. Let's get started. All right, so real quick about this unit. Uh, again, it's an 18. It only has 50 hours on it. Um, I just, I couldn't help myself. So I think it should power up. And it's gonna show the hours in a second. Yeah, 58 hours, excuse me. So it really is, it's super clean. Gentleman I bought it off of is just as OCD as I am. So, you know, the bottom is super clean. Uh, so this trailer though, um, the trailer is a 15, it has, it's a Triton obviously as everybody can see, and it has these taillights that are a little bit different than uh, just buying the ovals. I'll show you what I mean. There are two bolts that hold that housing together. So let me go ahead and pop those off. And then what we're going to do is get these LED jobbers get them installed. So a lot of the more current trailers just have this like gasket around them. So you pop them in, uh, but this one's a little different. So check this out. So here's what I had thought. I thought you take these off and this housing would just come out. Come to find out, these are actually glued inside of the mount panel for this particular trailer. There's a little glue line. So I still have to pop this one out. I took a little pry tool. Where is it? So I took a little pry tool and I just kind of started working this around. So with this and a screwdriver, I was able to set the light free from this housing. So the rubber that comes with the kit that I got, I thought, oh, maybe it'll fit in there. But by the time you start squeezing this down and around and you go to put the light in, it doesn't it doesn't actually fit to get once you start getting it all the way in to see what happens. So my plan is just to get those in like that. We'll tape them center. I'm going to take some JB weld. I'll put a dab here and a dab here, dab here, dab here. Keep that. It'll keep that in place. And then if for some reason I do need to get it out, which these are lifetime warranty, I've had lights on the other trailer that was in a previous video on that, the LED lights on that for years, no issue. Of course, that's not being submerged in water, um, but none of those little bulbs are out. So my, I anticipate these lasting for a while, that's the guess. So, uh, but we'll try and make it so that we'll pop this guy out and we'll try and get these in so that they will be serviceable in the future. I searched high and low for this on the internet um, a Triton dealer is a little bit of a ways from me. Uh, I didn't find them. So this is why I've chosen to do it that way. I could not find the full lens. So I didn't even call a Triton dealer, honestly. Um, I really wanted these LED ones because I think they're cool looking. So I want to get them in. And this is how we're going to do it. So this trailer has these like quick connect things. We'll have to cut all those off and rewire them. That's not a big deal, but
but the newer trailers this is a it seems like this is an enclosed housing and the lens sits inside the aluminum channel itself this one a little bit different so once you get one area up just kind of work around because most importantly i don't want to break the housing i don't really care so much about the light anymore So there's the glue. So now all we got to do is set these guys in. Take a little rubber off here. We'll save them. I don't know if I need to save them. But we'll get these set in. Mix up some of this weld. Wait for that to dry and then we'll get them in the, get them in the trailer. It's probably junk. Ooh, maybe not. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, that might, that should be enough. Hopefully, that's all I got left. So I'm basically just kind of stuffing this glue there. And as it becomes one, should be good enough to harden in there. just some stuff I had here I probably would have bought something different if I went out to get something fresh right side wrapped up wired in uh, we got some shrink wrap done so I have the wiring connectors wrap, uh, heated down and then I put some additional shrink wrap on there in effort to uh, keep the water out of these connections that should be good enough and we'll just get this thing bolted back in and that should do it I did test them Looks good. Where's the bolts? Here they are. it quick project for today's video we are packing up and heading out of here get up to the lake and try this thing out i can't necessarily take the golf cart that far it does need to get hooked up to a car so we'll get the truck out hook it up get up to lose who by the way wants to remind you like and subscribe if you're enjoying our content i know it's not necessarily golf cart related today but uh that weird trailer light thing i thought maybe some people would find that uh helpful so that's where we're at for now thanks again happy fourth and we'll see you on the next one. This stuff ought to keep that light in. <laughs>